are Nikki and Carlo and our family live in Positano, Italy, nearly 500 steps from the road but surrounded by fruit and olive trees and with a fabulous view. Our garden overlooks the sea and we grow our own food. We show you what life is really like on the Amalfi Coast. So please subscribe and welcome to the Positano Diary. At the end of the summer, Luca cleared away the tomato vines and aubergine plants, leaving just the front row of strawberries. The front section of the garden was then left to rest over the winter. But nobody told the strawberry plants that, and they got busy reproducing. So now we have double the amount of strawberry plants and even some early fruits. Carlo is replanting some of the new plants into pots to keep the area tidy, and the garden is slowly coming back to life. Hello everywhere! Oggi è una bellissima giornata, sto andando in spiaggia dove c'è Elizabeth, Peppe e le bambine che mi stanno aspettando, mi hanno invitato per passare una piacevole giornata insieme. Fa davvero caldo, rispetto a due giorni fa era freddo, avevo il cappello, il giubbotto, oggi invece è bellissimo. Nikki è in Inghilterra, non so se c'è questa temperatura, non so se c'è il sole, ma se non c'è, mi dispiace per lei. Andiamo. Oggi la spiaggia è così. Anche se si abbronza abbastanza per la Pizza! Sì! Estate! Davvero estate, eh? Eh, oggi sì. Mamma mia, sto morendo di caldo. Wow, Peppe, che intelligente che sei! Hai preso la sedia? C'è posto pure per me su quella sedia? Contro una tre piatti. Olli, via di là. La pizza non è per te, Olli. Oggi siamo venuti qua a Piazza dei Racconti per fare questa cosa per sapere le regole della strada. E adesso io imparo ad andare bene in bici. Perché? Perché faresti più strano, mi spiego. Qua sono 10 metri, qua ne faresti 15 20. E questo è l'incrocio, quindi è importante sempre attraversare dalla parte di dietro. Perché ho preso da dietro, però, però da dietro può venire una macchina così. Allora, cerchiamo di imparare ad andare in bici, ma non impariamo ai ragazzi o meglio insegniamo ai ragazzi ad andare in bici perché bisogna andare in bici insegniamo un po' di tutto principalmente i pericoli che si affrontano su strada Il volontario B chiama l'118 e presenta la situazione trovata. 
utilizzano i sacchi di pe sulla panella di sacchi. Aspetta, no, aggiungi forchetta e ti racconto. Cos'è questa? Ho avuto la patente di buon pedone. Wow, che bello! Nome, cognome, nascita e comune positano. Leccala! Leccala! No dai, non è tanto in giro! <ride> The last time we went to England, we drove. It takes 21 hours by car from our house to Dad's, so we usually make it into a three or four day road trip. After a journey like that, it always surprises me that I can also just jump on a plane after breakfast and be in England by lunchtime. This flight was fun as we flew right over Mount Vesuvius and the Regia of Caserta, and then after the Alps, we flew over the wind farm off the coast of Brighton before landing at Gatwick. Hello everywhere! Oggi è una splendida giornata di sole, anche se in questo momento sto un po' all'ombra e farò una passeggiata nei sentieri. Uh, sì è vero, c'è un po' di fiatone, ma adesso riprendiamo tutto. D'altronde ho fatto già 400 scale, c'è mica poco. Allora, quello laggiù è Capri. Queste sono le montagne, come si chiama? Fate vista montagna qua? Monte Comune. Monte Comune, laggiù ci sta l'isola dei Galli e poi più in basso Positano. Adesso facciamo, continuiamo il sentiero col mio amico Federico. Ciao Federico. Buonasera. I've popped over to England for a few days. I've got a few little things I need to do while I'm here and I thought it'd be nice to keep Dad company for a few days and by Thursday I'll be back home already. So it's a very quick visit. I've got four full days here and then I'll be home before we know it. Dad's brought me to this furniture shop um, in Gomshaw, which is a beautiful little Surrey village. Um, we were actually going to go and visit the guy with the trout farm, 
but he closed today so we've come to this furniture shop nearby it just goes on and on it's absolutely enormous and you'd never guess because at the front it just looks like a classic english cottage but it's lovely it's got all these incredible animals made out of driftwood and then there's this little bridge going over the stream here Look. <laughs> and some beautiful beautiful things obviously none of this stuff is going to fit in my hand luggage so i won't be bringing any of it back with me Luca, quando saranno pronte le cipolle? Normalmente per, per luglio. Si mettono in inverno, principio della primavera, e si raccolgono estate, principio estate. Quindi a luglio potremmo fare un sacco di insalate di cipolle? Eh beh, no, eh, non solo le insalate di cipolle. La cipolla è un condimento come altre, altre cose. Ah serve per tutta la cucina per cucinare, per fare l'insalata per fare la frittata per mettere insieme i pomodori serve per parecchie altre cose la cipolla è importantissima in cucina così come le patate come i pomodori A friend of my father's is walking the length of the River Thames, section by section, after recovering from an illness. So Dad has decided to accompany her. They're doing it the wrong way round, from the mouth to the source, just a few miles twice a week. I pointed out that a small section of the path is actually a shortcut between Walton and Weybridge and that we should add in the longer path, which loops around Desborough Island. So we set off to do that one sunny afternoon. This little tip of the island here is famous for something. This is where they filmed the music video for Come 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 Chameleon with Boy George. On that little point there, I think he sat there. And then I got ill. I must have picked up something from the plane journey over. I haven't been this sick in years. But unfortunately, I spent the rest of my time in England in bed. Now the other day I made some orange jam. It was the first time I'd made it, so I wasn't sure how it was gonna turn out. And it's actually turned out really, really well. And when I went down to get the oranges, I realized that we've got a ton of oranges left um, in the basement. They're in crates at the moment. And I thought well, I really need to make some more. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna collect some oranges and we're gonna make some more orange jam. It's cheats jam, it's not the proper way. It's using the, um, the stuff that makes it really, really quick to do. We've got all these to get through, so that's quite a lot of jam. See, there's okay, a couple have gone mouldy, but really not too many, seeing as a lot of these have been here since December. These are the 
tomato jars. I'm going to be a bit big for jam. I'm going to see if I can find any smaller ones anywhere. Now, I know there should be some jars somewhere. Ah, there we go. Found them. Perfect. Right, these are going to need a good wash and sterilising in the oven. And I know that four jars, four, four jars, four jars equals a kilo of jam. So I'm going to make, I'm going to make two kilos. So that's eight jars. And you should always use new lids when you do jam so that they seal. So we have a bag full of lids over there. Right, I'm going to sit out here and do this because it's lovely today. Now, what I'm going to do is, I did this the other day, so I know what I'm doing. I'm going to take three of the nice oranges, give them a good scrub, and then chop all the peel up very, very finely and put that in the jam. Um, I know that our oranges are from our tree, so they're not waxed, so I just need to give them a good wash. And then there'll be little bits of orange peel in the jam. So I'm going to do that with these three. And then I'm going to sit and start... Um, this is the most time consuming part of it, just getting all the flesh out and all the seeds out and separating it all. So we've got a couple of bowls here and I'm just going to sit down and do that. Sembra piccolo, ma è pesante. Uff, uh. uh, sto facendo un'altra marmellata. Guarda, guarda, se vuoi ti faccio vedere una cosa. Allora, sono andata a comprare questa pittura antiacqua, waterproof, because abbiamo un serio problema qua sotto. Che okay, qui sono due pannelli che si attaccano, e quindi gocciolava l'acqua ah ok quindi dobbiamo vedere di riparare questa cosa non so posso fare in due modi posso pitturare direttamente ma mi sa che non funzionerà oppure ho delle, dei laminati vecchi li appoggerò sopra e poi li pitturo verde che diventa carino sono brutti e arrugginiti sarà ancora dormendo quei due sì è mezzogiorno che facciamo? li svegliamo? non no per wait ma part of making the orange jam is to blend the oranges so that they nice and smooth and I've forgotten to do that and I've added all the stuff into it so I'm gonna have to just wing it and blend it as it is with all the sugar and everything hopefully it will be okay of course all of my lovely little orange peel bits are gonna get blended as well now but not much I can do about that I knew there was some reason that I shouldn't have put them in yet Allora il piano è mettere quelle lamiere di metallo uh, qui sopra perché siccome il tetto è di legno il legno si muove e dove sono le attaccature legno e legno si fanno le crepe. 
Poi lo pitturiamo verde e sembrerà come adesso. Abbiamo risolto il problema. I think I just may have found my new favourite place to sit. I've got a great view from up here. I'm on a little terrace at the moment, actually sitting on a table. Anyhow, Carla's finishing off painting the roof and I think we've come to the end of this video. I just wanted to mention that there's been a whole ton of comments on last week's video where we were house hunting. Um, we've had, I think, more comments on that video than ever. There was a lot of questions. We have answered some of them, but we will, we're saving some of them. So we're gonna answer them probably in the next video. Just a lot of questions about why we're doing it, why we're looking in certain places, why aren't we looking in certain places? what sort of properties we're looking for. So we'll sit down and talk to you about all of that hopefully next week. So thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely week and we'll see you next Sunday. I am in a very dangerous position. Ciao a tutti. <laughs>